This is the Super Co-op Squad Video Game Podcast, episode 97. On today's show, we'll be talking Microsoft's Project X Cloud. How will this affect Microsoft's next gaming console and the industry overall? We'll also have our best and worst, gamer trivia, speed run, and of course, name the game. Hello from wherever you're at on the internet, I, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, YouTube. We're the Super Co-op Squad. We love video games. I'm your host, Johnny Mac, with my fellow hosts, friends, gamers, just general nerds of the highest variety, Garrett Laney. Hi! <laughs> just, just milf, just milf, <laughs> playing well over audio, and Joshua Gerard. I can't, I can't do anything to top that i was thinking of something but he went the extra mile like three times he did yeah he, he did every he's doing everything that nerds shouldn't do it, 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 it's rough we are the super co-op squad we love video games we love everything pop culture every single week we sit down together as friends as gamers uh uber nerds as garrett just just uh showed you there um or you heard and just hurt your eardrums <laughs> uh, and we just talk about what's going on in gaming, the latest news, what we love, what we didn't love, and just have a general good time breaking down what's currently going on in our industry. Uh, before we hop into today's show, though, of course, we always have our terrible spoiler of the week. All right, guys, brace yourselves. In the movie Hook, Robin Hood's actually Peter Pan. Robin Hood. Robin Williams. Robin Hood's not in the movie. That's also a spoiler. I was like, that was. I'm nice. sure he's played Robin Hood somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That's sometime. Yeah, I mean, who would have thought, right? Peter Pan grows up. What a thought. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to. No. No, but he left Neverland and never came back. He's so fly, he never lands. Mm, that doesn't go with, well with me there, but it's, it was a good try. It's on his shirt, so it, it's it's real. Okay, it's time for best and worst news of the week. Let's get it. What do you got for us, Laney? All right. So, my best. Oh, we're doing best? Not no, worst first? Worst, worst first. Worst first? At all, at all times. You're right. Yeah. It you, is worst you, You're first. really excited to go. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm, try, I'm trying to get there. <laughs> you, better, you better think about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't really have a worse. It was... It was just a good week. It was, it was an all right week. I don't, actually, I don't think much happened this week at all. All right, all right. We'll we'll circle back to you. Give me right, a few yeah, minutes. Yeah, give, give, give me some time. Okay, it'll what, give what you, you got? give you time to piggyback and be like, oh yeah, that That's was exactly mine. what that I was, was waiting for. So there's this game called Call of Duty that you know Call of Duty Blops Four. Uh huh. Uh huh. And we knew that it was going to have a big install, but then all of a sudden news came out that a day one mandatory update was going to happen. Let's slap you another 50 gigs in the face. That's never with good. a day one install. This is just how the industry is going now. Like, I would like to know that in advance because I'm expecting a 40 or 50 gig install or download for the game. But then less than a week or within the same week that the game launches, you're going to tell me here's another mandatory 50 gigs right. that I'm going to take up. That's a it's a dick move. It's a hefty chunk, a hefty chunk of uh. A hefty chunk, essentially, of your, of your data. <laughs> yeah, that's so. that's what I'm, one fifth of the average system. I mean, especially if you already have games on there, and you're like, okay, I deleted some games. It was, it was some tough choices, but you know, I had to make room for Call of Duty. Out with the old, in with the new. Damn, I need another fifty gigs. Right. I really didn't want to get rid of GTA. Right. There's <laughs> there's a lot you got to do to get rid of fifty. Like two. You know, it happens to me a lot too. Where like I'm playing, and I'll, like there'll be a new game that comes up downloaded. Or like, you know, free or whatever, or an update to a game I already own, and it'll tell me there's not enough data like on my service, not mm-hmm. on my on my device. Now keep in mind, I have the five hundred gigs on my hard drive. I got like a day one con or I got a console day one. It's not uh-huh. a day one console. Oh, Garrett it's does- not. <laughs> Garrett does have a day one <laughs> Xbox One. And yet yours is still running, running well. Yeah. Um but I have I have an additional two terabytes. And that's used up now. Like, I don't have any more room for storage. Those are rookie numbers. You got to pump those up. <laughs> that's right. why I got five terabytes. <laughs> you have a five? <laughs> five terabytes. And that's without even using my 500 gigs on wow. my uh, You don't system. deserve to have a five terabyte when you're not taking advantage of all the free games that they give you. Maybe because I'm so selective, I have plenty of room to spare. That's also I why. I think it's because you have a five terabyte hard <laughs> yeah. I, uh That's why I don't do auto d- auto updates to take up that extra space for games that I'm not using or games that I don't want to play. 
Yeah, I could see that. But then there's that, that off thing where like if I do want to play a game and I'm like, dang, I haven't downloaded any updates for 18 months and it's going to take, you know, 37 gigs for me to play it when I just wanted to quickly pop it on. That that bothers me. See, back in my day, we used to just put the disc in the system and then we just play. Sure, to, Grandpa. I used to just turn the power on and it just showed up. Uh huh. <laughs> right, Uncle Gerard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was your that was your worst. Uh, my worst news. There there were a few things that were bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, Enlighten me. Garrett's like, where? <laughs> where? Please, please tell me more than one so that I may select one of these. <laughs> um. Huh. All right. I I guess I just gotta go with. Uh, Netflix canceling Iron Fist. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll leave that one for you. Thank you. Uh, uh, the worst news. This is best news. (laughs) That (laughs) That probably might be. Uh, worst news of the week is Borderlands 2 is coming to PlayStation VR (laughs) and it does not support multiplayer content. It is a single player game, which if you've played Borderlands, you know that part of the joy more than I'd say more than half of the joy of the game is the experience of playing with more than one person. That that defeats the purpose of Borderlands. Yeah, single player Borderlands. It's a rough grind it's a to game. play by yourself. Yeah, it's just, I mean it's fun, but it's not the game. It's not as fun. No, it's not as fun. As, it's definitely at all. not. It does it doesn't make sense to me. Like you you brought like I know PSVR can play multiplayer. I, I know that <laughs> you've so, seen it. Yeah. So so why yeah. are you making this decision? Like I, I don't. I'm not upset you brought it. Like, I think that I'd rather you had spent your time, you know, actually working on Borderlands 3. But, uh, damn it, Randy. Yeah, right. So you bring this and you only bring half the game. To me, that's half the game. So that's a problem. It's DLC. Yeah, I <laughs> gotta spend that extra 20 bucks to play with a friend. I don't, I don't like this. Yeah. Yeah. Get they the might friend do mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't like it. Cooperative ever. DLC. So that, that's the worst news of the week to me. That okay. is pretty bad. Yeah. But yes. I just remember what my worst was. <laughs> Iron Fist season three got canceled. As yep. a matter of fact, Iron Fist as a show got canceled. Yeah, I don't think they confirmed a season three, right? <laughs> they, I don't think they. They did. confirmed there won't be a season three. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either. Um, and I didn't even like <laughs> Iron Fist. I think that it was the worst of the Marvel Netflix shows. That's what I hear. I only got like two episodes in. That's all you needed to know it was a bad show. Well, there's a lot of people that actually like the second season. The second season did pick up a little bit and get a little bit better, but it still was low tier, subpar compared yeah. to Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Daredevil. Um, e- even the Punisher was yeah. a, a better show just overall. I forgot that was a thing. I, I mean, I, I'm not so so much upset that like the show's gone. More for the fact that like Iron Fist, out of all the heroes, Iron Fist is pretty cool, but he kind of gets the you know the the short end of the stick, the uh, short end of the fist. Ah, yeah. no. <laughs> uh, but they, they, Netflix did say that, um, uh, Iron Fist will still be showing up in other shows, you know, which makes sense for Luke Cage, you know, them, uh, they're the, uh, Heroes for Hire. Thank you. Yep. I was coming for it. You but, uh, yeah, 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 you, you got Heroes for Hire. So maybe we'll see more of that. Maybe it'll be a Luke Cage Iron Fist show. Maybe, but you know what? I think overall they made a big mistake with, with Danny Rand, Iron Fist in general. It's just not the Danny Rand, the Iron Fist that, people like like the the characters not not only is he miscast he's miswritten like he's supposed oh, to be bad. not 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 a spider-man jokester but more light-hearted and in this show he's just like no i'm danny rand he, he's oliver queen yeah no i'm danny rand like no you're not you you were gone for 10 years no i'm that's that was half of season one right yeah, there yeah um, that's as far as i got yeah the, <laughs> the, the, that even you, saying that is so ambiguous because that was like till the last episode <laughs> like him trying to convince people he's danny rand um damn it i know they got his fingerprints yeah there's got to be a way there's got to be a way um but yeah the, he just he just wasn't the danny rand that will make a good partner to luke cage for heroes for hire he doesn't have the personality that you need so yeah i don't know okay, okay. Time to vote. Right. So I, uh, I technically went first. Yeah, but so. it's my week, so I'll go first. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> I, I got to go with the uh, extra install. That That is not cool for people that are, like, hurting for space or e- even if you're not hurting for space, just being forced to then wait an additional, what, hour, 45 minutes to play your game for, Minimum. A, for right. a day one patch. Yeah. Quick, quick side note. I have noticed for some reason, at least at my home, maybe not everyone's, PS4 up, updates. 
like it, it goes faster than Xbox One updates. Like if it says five gigs of download, it's like lightning on the PS4 <laughs> and very slow on the Xbox One. Don't Did, know why. Didn't used to be that way. Yeah. Don't don't know what changed, what happened, but whatever. Okay. Your vote, Joshua. I vote for Johnny Mac. Yeah. Borderlands deserves multiplayer. It definitely does. It I needs agree. it, actually. Yeah, it does. I think this is going to go very poorly. Uh, I also vote for the 50 gigs of install. It's just a damn annoying thing to do. It's rude. You could have let people know about this ahead of time, but you waited until like the game released or or very near to it. Did they already got their money? Right. You already <laughs> bought it. You've already downloaded the game, purchased it. Like, there's no way you can get it back. Uh, yeah, that's just that's a scumbag thing. Nice. Okay, I got one. Yeah, jo- yeah, Joshua, you got you got the worst news of the week award. Sweet Good job. Your turn, Garrett. But All best right. news. Best news. So, BlizzCon's merch shop may have leaked an upcoming di- uh, may have leaked upcoming Diablo content. Uh, posters are on the site with the title Reign of Terror. Could this be more DLC? Could this be Diablo 4? No one knows. Uh, but we will hear more about Diablo and other Blizzard uh, games at uh, BlizzCon, uh, which is November 2nd through the 4th. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think this is this is almost not concerning to me, but scary. Yeah. O- only because, like Joshua, last week you asked us, would we be fine with Diablo 3 expansions? And I would... But I'd really, really like a new Diablo, and this doesn't seem to be it. It's been a while since Diablo 3 came out. Even if you want to add the Necromancer, it's been a while since that update as well. It's time for Diablo 4. But I would not say no to an expansion. Exactly. (laughs) I would still play it. I'd still enjoy it. But, like, give me Diablo 4, dang it. Like, come on. Quit playing games, Blizzard. Like, you know what we want, and you're releasing all this stuff we don't care about. (laughs) Quit playing games so we can play games. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. What do you got? All right. So, I think this is gigantic news. Uh, James Gunn has been transitioned over to DC. So... As of right now, he's part of Worlds of DC, and he's going to be writing the script for the Suicide Squad sequel. So I like the Suicide Squad movie. Granted, there's a lot of issues with it, but I enjoyed the movie. I have I admit that. It, it was good until halfway. I was just going to say it's a tale of two movies. The first <laughs> half is great, and the second half is like, what the heck happened? Yep. I Overall, I still enjoyed it, but to have James Gunn get shafted from the Marvel side... And now he's going to be working with DC. And not to say this movie, like what else could he possibly do to influence the uh, DC, other D- upcoming DC movies, if they're still going to happen? Nothing, because the higher ups at Warner Brothers aren't going to listen to him. They may not. Yeah. I mean, you never know, but it, I mean, he did great with Guardians and other projects. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing no. what he's actually going to do with Suicide Squad in particular, because that's what he's assigned to, plus anything else he may be a part of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a good thing. I think he's going over there. It's fair to him, you know. He he lost a big a big thing to his career, right? With Marvel, he doesn't deserve to be shunned from yeah. the industry at large. Yeah, absolutely. Because a ten year old Twitter. Yeah, and then quick, <laughs> quick side note, just about ten year olds. Uh, when you mention that, you know, it's two different movies. It's like it's like the writer started writing, and then at the end, he got tired and was like, "Can you, hey son, can you finish the script?" Okay, Dad. And just, <laughs> what would you want to happen? <laughs> Um, and then the monster comes, um, and then they like it, and then Joker and Harley kiss. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and then Inferno turns into a big monster, and then he dies. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Okay, my best news of the week. Uh, there was a a short, a short video released from, I don't know, Saban, I guess. Uh, oh. Power <laughs> Rangers Legacy. It uh, combined uh, Street Fighter with Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, I'm listening. It had Jason David Frank <laughs> okay. as one of the co-stars. He re- he uh was playing, you know, Tommy Oliver essentially. Had an awesome kind of new kick butt uh Green Ranger costume that kind of okay. updated a little bit. Okay. And it featured Ryu in a Power Ranger suit as the Ryu Ranger. The Ryu Ranger. And it looked dope. It was like all white with red, and he had a headband like built oh, into his cool. uh, into the, the into helmet? his helmet. It was 
sick. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I read about it, but I didn't see it. I watched it. It was like 10 minutes. Um, I do feel they'll probably continue doing this because essentially, this, I guess, like Rita and Bowser team. Uh, Bowser. Bowser? Dang. Bowser? Yeah. The, <laughs> Mario's in there, too. The Mario Ranger. You don't need Peach when you got Rita. <laughs> Bowser. Uh, no, it had Bison, Rita, and Rita Repulsa and Bison teamed up, which I also appreciate that they went all the way back to Rita yeah, yeah. for this. Um. And they teamed up and like brought over the Street Fighter people to like kind of take their power or energy or something, whatever. Dude, this sounds awesome. It was it was really cool to watch. Like, and it was just cool watching him like become the Ryu Ranger. They gave him like a power coin. It was cool, man. Um, so I hope they continue to do that. I would really appreciate it if they did. Um, because it was fun. I I, I might watch it. Like, yeah. does, he, yeah. does he do Ranger Hadokens? He does. He does do <laughs> a Hadou a Hadouken with in his Ranger suit and also. Green Ranger does one too. What? It was cool. It was cool, man. Did he do a Tatsumaki Senpyaku kick? Uh, yeah, now you're doing too much. No. Gaz- <laughs> Gaz- Gaz- I can say the name. <laughs> I can say it. All right. Time to vote. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was with you, Joshua. But Power Rangers, man. I, Power Rangers. Is yeah. Power Rangers a Street Fighter. Well, it's, it's, it's Ryu. It's Green Ranger. That's it. That's all you need. You won me over. Yeah. Yeah. Got one, baby. <laughs> Best of the week award goes to Johnny. But Johnny still gets the vote. I do. Um, um James Gunn. I know, I'm thinking. <laughs> the James Gunn thing I think is is pretty huge, man. Like, that's huge. And kudos to him for getting this kind of this this gig. DC knows they need him. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Ten Who years- does this help more? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, does it help DC or James Gunn? Like, was he hurting? I don't know. We'll see when the movie comes out. Yeah, we'll, well, that's true. Cool. Uh, will Will Smith be back? You think? Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. He's Unless he dies. Back in the movie. Back doing movies. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, Got ahead of myself. Will Smith may don't be a black even. man, but you don't kill Will Smith in a movie. That kills your box office. Like that's that you don't kill Will Smith. He died. In you might kill I Sam Legend, Jackson. He, he died in I Am Legend, though. A shark mm. ate him. Yeah. And yeah, he also got shot in the balls in uh, Hateful Eight and died on a bed. Still uh, have not watched it. It's a great he movie. Blew up in a house in Django. I st- also have not watched. He, it. Yeah, like you, that's just, <laughs> you, you kill, you can kill Sam Jackson. No, Will Smith. Avengers. He 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 crumbles into dust. You don't kill Will Smith. And yes, he did die in I Am Legend. But at the very end of the movie, the last two minutes of the film, as a sacrifice to save a a woman and a small child. So like he was a hero and he gave him the secret to, you know, saving sure, yeah. the human race. Like it's fine at that point. He died in the last 60 to 80 seconds of the movie. And also there's an alternate version where he does not die. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Cool. Well, that is uh, our best and worst news of the week. Uh, let us know what you think the best news or the worst news of the previous week was. Give us some ideas, some topics during the week of what you think might qualify for best and worst news of the week as well. The hell you doing out here, Fred? <laughs> All right, guys. It is time. It's time for our main topic now. Is that what we're doing? I forget what we're doing. What we're doing? Yeah, we're changing things yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Time for our main topic. Project X Cloud. You may have heard of it. You may have not. We'll talk about it, and you'll figure it out, or you won't. <laughs> so, Project X Cloud is coming. What is Project X Cloud? It is essentially Microsoft's uh answer to to streaming services for games so it's going to allow in 2019 the beta will release uh for gamers to play any game that you could on an xbox one or that is licensed with microsoft on essentially any device using 4g or 5g cellular networks Uh, of course you can also use wi-fi this is going to be using their azure cloud uh service and you'll be able to stream any game potentially uh, through this rather than being locked down by playing on your home console. Now, this is also very close to a Google streaming service that they have talked about where you can play certain games, potentially all games we'll see through uh, Google Chrome service, Assassin's Creed Chronicle, I'm sorry, Odyssey uh, is popularly one of the games that you will be able to play in their beta test. But uh, streaming service is, is coming and it, it seems to be coming quick. Um, so what do you guys think about xCloud, the Google streaming service, uh, either one, and, and what that might mean, like just in general. Uh, I, I see this as being a big thing for the industry. For me personally, not really. It's, it doesn't interest me. Um, though I do like the idea of being able to stream games. That's always good. Um, I, I don't want to play games not on my console or not on, on my TV kind of thing. 
Okay. Uh, but I do see how a lot of people could like this. I think this is really big as far as what potential gaming has to not only expand to, you know, not being limited to one console, but also how you connect with your, your games, your content. You know, everything is going cloud saves except for Nintendo half the time. But, but the way that. No, no, they are as long as you have their subscription. Right. As long as technology continues to advance forward, this is stuff that's going to pop up. Um, I'm excited for it. I don't know if I'll jump on that, but I'm excited for it. This is the future right here. This is where the future is going. Um, and it, it speaks a lot, I think, to, to Microsoft's choice to release the Xbox One X, right? A more powerful console. They've mentioned it's a stopgap for the next generation, which if you're making a whole new console may not make a lot of sense, right? Like how does this older unit factor into your Xbox Two or Xbox 720? Well, this is how, like they're not going to be focusing necessarily on, you know, a new console. They're going to make a unit that can play, just play games. So I think that this is a big thing for, for several reasons, um, which, which we'll, we'll get into. So that's what we're going to move on to. Segway, <laughs> boom. So how do you think this might benefit gamers? And then we'll get into the, we'll get into the flip on the other side. I mean, just the accessibility, uh, being able to play any, I guess, Xbox or Xbox supported game, uh, on mostly any device. That's, that's pretty strong. Uh, being able to do that, um, don't have to worry about, oh, my brother is playing this game. I want to play that game. You know, um, I, I think it's, it's good for like households and families. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You actually touched up on what I was actually just going to say. We're not. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I took your quote. <laughs> Sorry. Let me just reword it a little bit differently. No, uh, what being able to share content, I think can be a big possibility, especially with what Microsoft did with the, uh, was it Xbox One? I forget what they call it, but you can share it on five devices or five Xbox as long as you have the same tag. Or well, that that never came to fruition. But in, in the launch of the Xbox One, uh, during their first like initial E3 presentation, when they fully revealed it, they stated that they were going to do a more a, a very different digital rights management kind of uh, not service, but plan in which you would be able to only pretty much stream games or download them. That would be their main focus, not discs. Um, and then you'd be able to share that game with up to four other uh, Xbox One accounts. So am I, am I thinking Home Gold where you can have one Xbox Gold account and you can have like multiple people in the same house use that or the same console? Yeah. So currently okay. what you can do, you can game share in that I can make my Xbox – I'm sorry, I can make Garrett's Xbox – my my account's home console. So Johnny Mac twenty four. That is Garrett. That is linked to Garrett's home console. Garrett Dark Wolf three two seven five is on my console as the home console. So if I buy a game at my house, keeping in mind that my home console is not my actual console, it's Garrett's. I have access to play it whenever I'm logged into my account at my house. Garrett can also play at his house using his gamer tag or any other gamer tag because it's linked to his console. On my Xbox, only my account, you have to be signed into Johnny Mac 24, can play the game. But essentially, that allows for you to buy one version of the game, 60 bucks, and two people can play it on two different Xbox at the same time. That seems like a life hack, like it wasn't planned. You know, I don't know. They must know people do it. They must know. But yeah, it does seem like a life hack. There you go. We gave you one. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. We're teaching you, giving you knowledge, everything. Um... Yeah, so to, to get back to what you're saying, though, they might end up doing something like that where they bring that back around. You know, maybe this is them having put a push pin essentially into that, that digital rights management plan from 2013 and now finding a way to bring that back around. Yep. And maybe Milo will come back too. Yeah. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> no, nah, nah, he did. <laughs> he'll yeah, be no. the, he'll be the representation of the cloud. No one's fed him in years. Well, he's in the cloud. He's in heaven now. I fed that tiger though. He, he did. The tiger, the tiger. <laughs> Tiger, Tiger got fed. The Tiger got his own game, <laughs> connectables and everything. Um, yeah, I think this. I think this benefits gamers in a huge way. I mean, obviously, Garrett, like you said, the accessibility. Uh, but you know, one of the, what's what's one of the biggest problems we've had with going from gaming generation to new gaming console and gaming generation every single time. New new console Mem- comes memory. Well, memory, yes, but what's the thing? You that lose all your about? old stuff. You can't. 
bring it over. Exactly. Port it over. Yeah. You, you lose all of your old games and content, right? And it's, it's obvious. It's obvious that they could just make these damn machines backwards compatible. compatible. It's, it's obvious because when they want to port something over, it's done or Xbox is doing this whole like, okay, every month we put out three new games that you can play. I think this eliminates that. At this point, there's no more, oh, well, we can't transfer the game. No, this is a service. We're paying for this. I bought this game. It doesn't matter if you upgrade the service. I can always play this game. I think that is potentially big. Yeah. Uh, second, go ahead. I was going to say, quick side note. I thought it was pretty amazing how Microsoft added a patch that made backwards compatibility happen where Sony said they couldn't do that. Yeah. And they haven't yet. And isn't the technology in the PS4 for backwards compatibility? I don't know. Just they haven't unlocked it. I don't know. It, it's possible that it's built DLC. into the firmware. Um, don't don't know that for sure. But but I I am very certain that the architecture of the hardware they can add like updates. You know that can do so. Like oh, the PS4 Pro could have. You know they could have thrown that in there. Yeah. You can you can create an emulation system and put that in there. Mm. Yeah. There's there's a lot of options and it, it's. People know that it's it's BS when they say they can't add backwards compatibility. It's totally doable. It's more of a licensing issue, I think. And who's getting paid for this, right? Because there you go. If I've made, I don't know, what enter random PS2 game, I want to get paid for this ten years later. Since that's what I think that's what the issue is. Um, the the second thing I I'm, I'm thinking about this is uh like why why it might be good. I guess it goes along with accessibility, but not having to worry about where you are or who you're with, right? Like. I could be spending the night at someone's house or over the weekend and log into my account. We could play the game. Like, you know what? Like, like we want to play. I, don't, I know you don't like Madden, but you know, you're at your buddy's house with his smart TV and you're like, Oh, dude, like I would smoke you right now in Madden, blah, blah, blah. Nah, bro. Like, and then Bring you're just in. like, boot it up, log in, you know, like log in and just know like, Oh, I don't got my console. No, like, I got no, my phone. I'm gonna hang my phone to your TV. But now I can't use that excuse anymore. <laughs> you know, I can't just just BS my way. Oh, I'll beat you in Madden. Then you'd be like, all right, well, boot it up. Uh, my TV don't. I've work. never Damn. played Madden. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think, I think that that. How do you shoot the ball? Yeah. <laughs> what What does X do? <laughs> I think that is is huge for this. But uh, what what are some of the negatives? There's, there's there might be some 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 drawbacks. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I I can't think of it yet. It's it's still there's still too little we know about it for for us to be able to really go into specifics on e- either or good or or bad. All right, I'm I'm gonna shoot you a couple things. Let, let me know what you think. All right, see what sticks. Yeah, latency, mm. latency issues. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. right right away. Uh, is uh, that big multiplayer right? Uh, fan fandoms right. So if that happens and then. Google does the same thing, and then maybe Sony doesn't have the cloud architecture to do it. They, they couldn't. But that would severely, I think, diminish people's fandoms of Nintendo or Sony or Microsoft, right? Those lines become blurred because you don't have to choose necessarily which one. You just play on a service. That that might happen. And for some people, that's a big part of their fandom, like liking Nintendo or liking. So, I mean, what do you think about that? Like, Nah, that- man, that one doesn't stick to me. No? Okay. No, no, you don't no, care about not, that. Not for me. That's surprising. I yeah. really thought you'd care. I think bandwidth can be an issue. And uh, download speeds. I mean, if you look at kind well, of a streaming service, so Well well that's exactly what I mean, because you have to have enough of a fast and strong internet and a stable internet connection or in order for that to be consistent. And I think part part of it a lot of it's gonna be the architecture and the other part of it's gonna be your actual network connection. So you look at PlayStation now, like this or is that what it is? Play that's the streaming service, right? Yeah, it's we, it's we never it, remember it's, it's garbage. Too many. Like the infrastructure is terrible, and if you have a bad internet connection, and it's also even worse. Right. So how is that going to work on your console, on your device? Like, especially if you're doing a cellular connection rather than like a home internet connection. Yeah. yeah. Make sure no one's downloading anything. Make sure no one's using the phone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Put the phone. Get down. off the phone! I'm trying to use the internet. <laughs> uh, I can't log into AOL. <laughs> yeah, so you bring up an interesting point on PlayStation Now, and you're correct that it doesn't work very well. They 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 just don't have they don't have the cloud infrastructure or the server support to be able to manage it the way they need to. But Microsoft does not have that issue. Microsoft Azure, their their cloud kind of their cloud service, their cloud architecture. It's it's massive. I mean, I think 
honestly, it's only second to AWS, Amazon Web Services, as far as usability and, and how widespread it is. They would not have an issue running this. I mean, in a lot of ways, that's potentially why they have better online connection gameplay than Sony for, for a lot of things. Not to mention if this is a, uh, a, this will be a service that you're, you charge and you pay for, they can use that money to make the service even better. Yeah, it, that's very true. Um, I, I, I honestly think that this could spell a lot of bad news for Sony in particular. Uh, Nintendo, not so much, o- only because Nintendo has never been big on third party, right? Like if, if no other third, if Madden or Call of Duty never came to Nintendo, I mean, we might complain, but they'd still be They'll just be fine. Like, Nintendo like, be, yeah. Yeah. They do their they own thing. Yeah they're, not, yeah, they're not outsourcing Mario besides when they want to, to, to you know, iOS. They're, they're going to be fine. But I think this could potentially really, really hurt, hurt Sony. Um, o- only because why? Why would I buy a Sony console? If, if I, if I, let's say, subscribe to the Microsoft, whatever, X, Project X Cloud service, whatever that might end up being called, and I can play on my computer, I can play on my TV, on my phone, on my iPad, my Xbox, if I, if I need to, it for sure probably will not come to Sony, right? Like, I could almost yeah. guarantee that. Why would I, why would I buy a Sony device? I'll tell you why, because you can't play these awesome exclusive games over on Microsoft side. So, they don't. That's true, right? But I mean, at one point, that's what we said about Sega. Well, I can't play Sonic on a Nintendo. Nintendo. I can't play that on PlayStation 1. Like, I'm going to get a Dreamcast or what have you. And what happened? Like, those properties weren't able to support all the crappy things that happened with Dreamcast and, and the Jaguar and all those problems, consoles. So if, if Microsoft gets a huge market share, and keep in mind, Sony is a much, much smaller company than Microsoft overall. They don't have the same amount of divisions, about amount of money. They're just not as big. If they start getting their ass kicked by this in eight, 10 years, they might have to just close their gaming division and become a publisher. If they become a publisher only, then those games get outsourced to Microsoft anyway. Yep. And I see that as a real possibility unless Sony makes some big changes somehow, brings something to the table that maybe not rivals it, but is something of equal value. They, I, they, they can't make this service. They just can't. But something else. Look at you, big game hunting over here. I'm just. He's like, 10 years, Sony's going to be doing the Sega thing. Man, it's, it's, it's a it's, possibility. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that. So I see it. Yeah, I mean, they got to figure something out. So that's that's my take. Um, any any final thoughts? Any any random thoughts about this? Um, like I said, uh, still, I think it's good for the industry. I think it's good for other people. It doesn't personally interest me that much. Well, I mean, I, I live alone. I just play on my Xbox anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, this doesn't affect me too much. But honestly, all the announcements coming out of Microsoft have not really affected me lately. Mm. I, I don't care about mouse and keyboard. I don't care about. Adaptive controller, uh, yeah, Hololens, yeah, yeah. Just, cancellations, just like, the scale bound. Uh, <laughs> so three is not coming out anytime soon. I don't know where they're looking to purchase Obsidian. That's yeah, big. yeah. Don't maybe. spoil the speed. Maybe that's all affect me. <laughs> uh, but this personally, not for me. But I do see it being good for the industry, sure. uh, except for Sony. <laughs> My 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 question is where's the where's the money going to be held at? So is this going to be an actual service you pay for, or is it going to be integrated into some sort of subscription, some sort of maybe new box that here's here's our new console, here's the the starting point, and now we can expand to other devices. I'm fairly certain. Answer that part first. That no, it's it's going to be a cloud a cloud based program. Whether you have to pay for it or not, I don't know yet. But it won't be tied to a box. It won't be tied to a thing you, you have to physically buy. It's going to be tied to the internet. It's going to be tied to, I've got a device. I am on a certain network, 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, LAN, whatever. And I want to play my game. I'm going to stream it. I'm going to log in and stream it. Um, I, I personally feel that, yes, you are going to have to pay some kind of money. Um, there is going to be some sort of service plan or yearly or monthly it could potentially be tied into Xbox Gold. It doesn't make sense to make it just for free. Um, yeah. Only because, I mean, where, like you said, where's the money? Uh, with, with this, if you pay 60 bucks for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, yeah, they get a chunk, of, a little chunk, a little piece of that. Um, if you buy it on Xbox One, if you're buying it on this service, yeah, you get a little piece, but why are they going to have this whole infrastructure and then not make a little bit more? You know, yeah. I, that's, that's how I see it. I, I think it's going to do what, a lot of the subscription services as far as programs, like you can't buy 
like Microsoft Word anymore. You have to pay for an online subscription and they get more money out of it because you have to renew it every year. Yeah. I see it where like Office, you can pay for it to have it on one device or you pay a little bit more to have it on five devices or 10 devices. Yeah. Like, I see that happening. He's mentioning Office 365 for those of you who are unaware. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can see that too. Um, I mean, it could be something small, which I think is a possibility, you know, 10, 15 bucks a month just because I think subscription services they lose their appeal when they're fifty dollars. Like you don't want to, you don't want a subscription service for fifty dollars a month, right? You yeah. Want, you want one for ten bucks a month, maybe fifteen. Um, not to mention you still have to pay for your internet. <laughs> yeah, and the games, right? Yeah. Like you're paying for the games. You're not, you're not being given games. Um, yeah, I think this is mind blowingly awesome. It's coming very, very soon, and sometime in beta 2019. Um, this is happening. The future is here. You know, we've talked about a lot. You know, what happens with Pardon me. What happens with, uh, you know, streaming and digital downloads, right? Well, hard drive sizes are too small for, and we see that, right? Like yep. they're too small and download speeds are too little for me to be able to download a 150 gigabyte Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2 game in a, you know, doable amount of time. This eliminates those issues. I don't have to worry about hard drive size. I'm streaming the content. I don't have to worry about downloads. I'm streaming the content. Yeah. I don't have to worry about the time of downloading. I'm streaming the content. Like all the issues that are coming up from large, massive games are no longer mattering in this world now. If this happens, it's kind of like uh, just putting a disc in the system and then hitting start. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah. You yeah. know, there's that quote where the more things change, the more they stay the same. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm looking at that, the only the only small issue is what if I don't have internet at the time? What if internet goes down? It doesn't happen often, but it happens. Yeah, yeah. You're screwed. I, I can't play the games. That is a real issue that would be really annoying. Better have autosave. Yeah, and we won't get into it right here, right now, but the other issue that comes up is then who truly owns my games? Yep, yep. Because remember, when you buy something digitally, you don't, you don't own, own the it. product. Yeah. You own you, – you're, you're being given the right, the privilege to access it because if the network goes down, if the service breaks, if – Whatever happens that changes in your terms and agreements. Company goes under. Yeah. You lose the game. You don't actually physically own anything. You own the access to it. That's it. So that gets into another kind of issue. I think it's a bigger one. But cool. That's our thoughts on Project X Cloud, the Google streaming service. What do you think? Is this something that's good, bad for the industry? Would you like this over buying a disc or are you already digitally downloading anyway? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Email us, contact at scspodcast.net. Or reach out to us on Twitter at Super Co-op Squad. You can find us on Facebook. Leave us some comments in YouTube right down there somewhere. Just chat with us. We'd love to hear from you. It's time. Time for the trivias. Gamer trivia. Every week, two hosts go head to head in a best of three trivia contest. The loser, they make next week's trivia. The winner, they stay and play again. And you, of course, always get to play. So tag along, play along. Find out just how much knowledge you have in gamer trivia. Well, just just for the sake of keeping it consistent, I'm going to do best of five. Really? What? Yeah, it's best of five, not best of three. It has been best best of three for the longest time. Best of three means you win two out of three. We've had three questions in the yeah. trivia. And it's best of five. I don't know what First I'm saying. First question, Joshua. <laughs> Let me bail you out. <laughs> I'm just talking smack. I'm tired. I didn't sleep. I'm up for almost 24 hours. Okay, what do you got for us? We gonna we're gonna pretend like we're gonna close our eyes and do trivia on this one, okay? You're gonna close your Are you eyes. Still texting? And, uh, no, Are you're gonna close. You're gonna close your eyes because you can't see anything. John, with your see eyes. the trivia? <laughs> no, you're close, but it's Daredevil trivia. <laughs> Doing some Daredevil. John Cena could beat Daredevil. He's too big, but you can't see him. Yeah, so he, him. he would always win. Wait, you say beat or B? B beat. Oh, he, oh yeah, I John think, okay. Cena would destroy I Daredevil. Th- I, Absolutely I, not. I heard B Daredevil. And I heard like, I heard yeah. that as well. I was like, yeah, he is too big to be Daredevil. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Right. Question number one. What was the original costume color of Daredevil? A, black and blue. B, black and yellow. C, black and white. D, it was all black. The original color for Daredevil's costume. I have Garrett's answer. I don't know much about Daredevil. Do I have I. Johnny's answer. We got different answers, so we're not going to do like we did the last couple times. Garrett, you said B, 
black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> and Johnny, you said all black. It's probably not all black just because, you know, 1970s, 80s comics. We weren't there yet. Yeah, exactly. We weren't <laughs> there yet. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be flashy and bright. Yeah. The correct answer is flashy and bright. It is black and yellow. Nice job. I just remembered yellow. Had you said black and yellow and then see red and yellow? Uh. <laughs> All right. So that is one for Garrett. Uh, o for Johnny. Question number two. Which other characters have temporarily donned the Daredevil suit? Is it A, Spider-Man? Is it B, Black Panther? Is it C, Iron Fist? Or is it D, they have all worn the Daredevil suit? I have Johnny's answer. Why are you shaking your head? This is trivia, man. I know. Man up. (laughs) Uh, I have Garrett's answer. Johnny, you gave me yours first. You said D, they have all worn the Daredevil suit at some time. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay. Did you pick that one? If you did, you're good. No, no, no. I didn't. Ah, you're rough. Uh, I'm, I don't know if he actually knows he's right or he thinks he's right. Gary, yeah, you said C. Right. It was Iron Fist. I can't think of Black Panther being there, though. Well, the correct answer is D. All yeah. three of those characters oh. did wear the suit at some point. Okay. I knew point. that. I People knew that could easily cool. tell Black Panther is not Daredevil because he's black. So they so in, in certain cases, Matt Murdock was either in jail or needed someone to cover for him so he wouldn't get his identity revealed. So he had other characters be daredevil for him okay. as soon as you said spider-man and whatever the second one was i knew okay the, the d has to be all of them because there was more than one yes yeah, so i, would, I was one. about to press it just before he even said c because i knew d was gonna be gotcha 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 okay so that's one point for johnny uh it's incorrect for garrett so the score's tied one to one uh i don't have a fun fact this week it's wow. a shame pulling the johnny yeah i'm doing it i don't like that term <laughs> which one of us never does fun fact it's it's me it's yeah me. it's it's hard like daredevil like it's hard you to look up info something. i could have found something fun maybe, fact maybe not fun hour. fact uh netflix's daredevil season three is launching next week on the 18th i'm that's, so excited that's a fun fact that's right? a fun fact prep you your go. eyes you and go. your ears question number three who did nelson and murdoch first hire as their major contract or let me rephrase it who was their first major contract that they hired is it a the avengers B, the Fantastic Four, C, the X-Men, or D, Spider-Man. Who did Nelson and Murdoch hire as their first major contract? I have Johnny's answer. I have Garrett's answer. Johnny, you said C, the X-Men. Garrett, you said D, it was Spider-Man. The correct answer is actually B, he hired the Fantastic Four, or they hired him. I I was going to say that, but... They're just so irrelevant to comics nowadays. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Ah. yeah. But they are they are comics that first was, family. That was the first contract that they hired, the first major one. So that is incorrect for both of you gentlemen. I don't like when the scores are tied because then we got to do this salty sudden thing. Guess where, what? Neither do we. Where you guys play these mind games and will you actually bet all your points or will you not? So everybody knows how this works. You both have a point that you could bet. <laughs> bet your points. Correct answer gives you two points. Plus your bet, if you get the answer wrong, you lose that many points that you bet. Yep. It's either zero or one. I don't know if we play mind games anymore because, you know. Well, yeah, this is a mind game situation. Like, we both have one, and if you don't bet, and it's an easy question, and someone else bet, then you lose. Be- you know what I mean? Like, because they are going to get the two points plus one. Yeah, that's if, true. If the question's hard, if you don't bet a, a, a point, then they – and they did. You know what I mean? Like, there, there's tons of mind games here. I'm guessing that is a gesture for a number. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Very good. You, I, he bet zero. <laughs> I do gifts and now Johnny or Garrett does gifts. Every like now it. and then. Okay. So this question, uh, I'm looking for one answer. It, you, well, I'll just read it. Many times Daredevil had teamed up with Elektra to fight crime and defeat evildoers, wrongdoers, bad people. Which other female character did Daredevil team up with? Oh, he said Elektra. I heard Electro. <laughs> My bad. No. <laughs> Not the Pokemon, Electrode. Uh, no. Which other female character did Daredevil team up with? Like, consistently? There was a time in the comics where there was a specific character that, you know, was with Daredevil. They fought crime, kicked some booty, you know. I'm going to go with this one. Similar to, like, how Electro was in there. Who, who are you going with? Uh, He's not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I have Garrett's guess, his answer. All right, so Johnny Mac's answer is in here. Garrett Laney, you said She-Hulk. 
I feel like maybe they might have once or twice. They are both lawyers. Yeah. That's a great guess. That's Thank a you. great guess. Thank you. If you win, kudos to you. Johnny, you said Black Cat. Just because she's kind of like, I don't know. She's also like Electra, like anti-hero, hero sometimes, villain sometimes. She's in New York, slumming it, like kind of has powers. I don't know. I don't yep. know. So the answer is Black Widow. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, there's no, there's no. quite a quite a a bit in the comics where Black Widow actually teams up with Daredevil and they work together. They kind of have this romance thing, and then Daredevil fights Hawkeye because they Hawkeye had a thing, and <laughs> yeah. So that is incorrect for both you gentlemen. For the points, Johnny Mac, you had one point. You bet zero. That puts you at one point. Garrett Laney, you had one point. You gave me a gif of Sonic <laughs> waving his finger like this. Oh, so one point. Meaning you bet a point, point that puts you at zero. No, I mean, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm not betting any points. <laughs> <You> just, <laughs> I clarified with you. If that zero were, is still a number. He didn't say like this. I actually think zero is not a number. It's, it's zero is an absence of numbers. It's an yeah. integer. Maybe that makes like. Johnny the champion of Daredevil trivia. All right. Good job. You, didn't see that coming. I did. <laughs> That's a good joke. That was a good joke. Yeah. Okay. I guess making fun of but, blind people. But deliver it next time. Like, <laughs> like we're making fun not of Steve dumb. Like just deliver like you didn't see that coming. Like, you know what I mean? Like you don't oh, have to like okay. hit us with the tagline. Okay. Like we we got it. We got it. Um, cool. I'll, I'll take that dub. I, I need I need a few. Garrett's usually <laughs> dub. winning quite a bit. Uh, I'm surprised you bet a point, to be honest. I wanted to win. Yeah, I saw. Uh, I kind of thought you would too. Yeah. I, I <laughs> Mind think, games. Yeah, you did right? want to you win, just not at the cost of strategy. Cool. Well, that is Gamer Trivia. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you did better than us. And uh, we'll see you uh, with, with uh, the next Gordon. segment. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're talking we'll, about for next week. We'll, yeah. we'll see you in the next segment. Yes, yes but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see Garrett running trivia next. All right, guys, it is time for the speed run. So every week we break down seven news stories, fun facts, little quid bits of, of pop culture info, things that just didn't make the list for a full core topic, full segment. We give ourselves one minute, un minuto per topic <laughs> before we move on to the next one. Finished or not. Gotta go fast. But slow and steady wins the race. In the speed run. That's what the tortoise says. And it came true. Did the tortoise won a speed run? He did, actually. No, no, he won a race. That's different. <laughs> it is very different. <laughs> Sony has officially stated it is working on its next gen console. So, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be the PS5 or what it's going to be, but interesting. PS4 Pro Plus. PS4 Mini. Do you think there's ever a point <laughs> where they decide to change it from the numericals of PlayStation what? Whatever? Eventually. Yeah. Uh, eventually. Uh, just studies show that, you know, high numbers kind of intimidate people. Yeah. PS5 so, does not sound good. I don't know. I, I can go for it. Uh, maybe up until they get to PS10, God. but then they'll call it PSX. Way they can't do that microsoft did it there's already a playstation experience there is psx <laughs> try I, googling psx yeah right I don't, I don't i don't like i don't like the number thing but i mean do we see a big difference or when do you think this is coming i don't i don't i 2020 i think is the next console get but i don't i don't see how much they can improve a console besides maybe just adding some beefed up hardware you know what we say that every every time every cycle yeah next Microsoft may buy out Obsidian Entertainment. Obsidian is more known for making KOTOR 2, Knights of the Old Republic, and Fallout New Vegas. So, you gave a little little spill earlier. I think this is good. I think with Microsoft actually taking some ownership of some of the indie devs that we saw in announcements at E3, and I think they really want to flagship a lot of these type of games or the future of games, uh, especially since they haven't really shown that they are making games for us. Yeah, I mean they they do have studios, right? But they're they're dying because their studios are making games that they absorb, right? Like three four threes didn't make Halo; they just took it on. Uh, whatever the studio is, Coalition, they didn't make Gears; they just took it on. Whereas Sony and Nintendo have people who are just kicking butt, making good games because they designed them. Yeah, very true. You can't just buy a a, a company and then put other people on it from a separate company and say okay make games just as good right they don't understand it yeah but i mean hopefully we get more games yeah i mean we'll get some good stuff i mean if they're making this as a strategy i like it next no oh, that's the thing i didn't know you did that yeah okay 
cool. Scarlett Johansson will be getting a nice payday for her upcoming Black Widow film. Johansson will be earning fifteen million dollars for her role. She uh, she deserves it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be more in line with Captain America: Winter Soldier. That was one of my favorite Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe films. Yeah. Yes, I like that a lot. Still my favorite. Yeah, it's it's great. I don't have much information on Black Widow. Is this going to be more about her past? How she became Black Widow? Is this more of like what she's doing now? Does she does she turn to dust? No, all the originals lived. Okay. Yeah, and I I'm hoping it's going to be her past, like what she maybe when she was uh, working for. Um, uh, I don't remember what who the group. Shield. Uh, no, but even before Hydra. When, thank you. She didn't work for Hydra or it's around <laughs> Hydra. She was a she was a double triple threat agent. It, it could be. I, I would appreciate that as well. Maybe, maybe something to show how she got the Avengers together because she was that thread yeah, that yeah. brought them in. That'd be cool. So how she got with the uh, well, not got with, but linked up with uh, Fury. Yeah. Next. Microsoft is developing a console gaming streaming game streaming service for mobile devices. Well, we oh are they already talked about this? I'm not sure how this made this in the in the in the speed run here. We can change it up. No, it's too late now. Um, because we're trying to talk about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we already talked about this in the core topic, but essentially, just to, to reiterate, this is huge. Uh, huge news, huge news. Uh, <laughs> I made this before you told me what the core topic was going to be. Sorry. Um. That's why you read the notes. This is this is groundbreaking stuff. Groundbreaking. Microsoft doing big things. This is really going to be our minute. Just I kinda... said I said that we could have changed the time. I had another one in the back burner, and he was like, "It's too late." Now we already started. You pressed the button. Yeah, nope. it's not my fault. You pressed the timer. Now we got 15 more seconds to talk about something. Okay, what's the first game that they're going to drop on this? Fortnite. I got no clue, man. Minecraft. It'll, I mean, hopefully it just drops and I could buy all the games I could buy already. Do you think like, they'll actually do that, though? That, I mean, of course, the beta won't be that way, but eventually. Next! Oh, thank God. <laughs> Rumors speculate that Tom Hiddleston may be our next James Bond after Daniel Craig. He, he's one of those actors where he's not typecasted, of course, but he is so effortless, effortlessly Loki. That I can't see him being anyone but Loki. I absolutely agree. I, I can't see Tom Hiddleston being James Bond. I mean, I'm sure he'd be great. He he's a good actor. Like he he owned a role that probably is really hard to play. Yeah. Um, you know, people give RDJ a lot of like, you know, kudos for, you know, really personifying Iron Man and, and Tony Stark, but Loki really personified. Actually, all those people. They, they, they were great at casting. They did a great job. They were for almost all of those roles. Phenomenal. Yeah. I think he could be a decent Bond, but, I mean, he has an accent, so he's got... That's not a problem. They get rid of it that easy. Or put it in. I, yeah, sure. I mean, he can act, so we'll we'll see. Has, has he... Sorry. Go no, go ahead. Has he been anything else notable? I'm sure he has. I don't know. I, I, that's what I was, was going to say. I haven't seen much of any other movie he's been Next. in. Next. All right. So Disney drops its first official trailer for the upcoming Aladdin movie. It seemed more like a teaser to me. That's a, that's a trailer still. It's, it's, it's a teaser trailer. It's, yeah. It's a it teaser didn't, trailer. It showed next to nothing. Still, the, the term, though, is still teaser trailer. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't, teasers in I, there. I'm sorry. My bad. I left out a word. Okay. You got to see what Aladdin looked like in a very yeah. quick glimpse. Uh, Yeah, and, I mean, it looked fine. They didn't show much. So there's nothing I can really critique other than a lot of people are saying his hair. I agree. Like, he's supposed to be a disgusting street rat. You could have had his, even if his hair wasn't dirty, you could have had it, like, you know, kind of. Matted, Must, muffed, yeah, matted, muffed up, like just kind of, you know. I mean, if it's going based on the actual movie, like he just got out of jail. Right. That's exactly <laughs> like, what this fool was doing a hard time. Like the cave is actually not like emerged from the ground. It looks like it looks like it's just plastered to like an actual like rock piece. No, I, I thought it looked like it was a cave. I the cave it of great. wonders. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I, it's still Frank Welker. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. That, that was, that was mm-hmm. cool. Quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, so, it looked cool. I mean, of course I'll watch it, but uh, I I want to see more. We didn't get to see Genie. No. Next. Wiley e. Coyote will be getting his own movie titled Coyote vs. Acne. This film will be produced by Lego Batman director Chris McKay. Okay, hear me out. I don't want this to be like a funny comical movie. I want this to be Coyote vs. Acne. 
a court drama where Wiley e. Coyote is suing Acme for for broken products that for, do not work for damages for da- <laughs> damages. <laughs> well, I, I want I want emotional trauma. He you read know, the instructions. All that kind of thing. Bring the hospital bills. He never caught the Roadrunner. <laughs> yeah, false like, advertisement. False advertisement. What was his idea? Like, if some, if you buy something and it explodes on you, why continue to support them with your money? Maybe they're yeah. the only manufacturer. Yeah, that must be it. No, no, he's got the uh, the frequent shopper. Oh, you know, coupons, he's got, discounts. He's got like a buy. He's got a, that membership. There's a program. He's trying to get like enough stamps yeah. on his Acme buying. Once he gets to ten explosions, you get a like, free dynamite, yeah. <laughs> free rocket. <laughs> Yeah, this is interesting, I guess. Wiley's end. Oh. All right, guys. Well, that is the speed run. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy those quick topics. Um, and give us some ideas for next week's topics that we can add into the speed run. We'd love to give you a shout out after talking about it during or right after we discuss it during the minute. All right. It's time for Name the Game. Three games, two hosts, one answer for each question. Use your wits. Match the clues. Name the game. Uh, I believe Garrett took down Joshua last week. Yeah, uh, by by some random game that I couldn't think about. Some with black eyed peasies. Yeah, Fergie did it. Yeah, so I don't have a crazy lead in. Let's just get into some games. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, game number one: an indie game that paved the way for other future indies. Alien Hominid. No, Braid. Braid. Dang. Didn't even get into my other good clues. Sorry. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? I cool. Think we have that one before. I don't we, think we, we have. We, we have? have for sure. Oh, so I actually accidentally I do say, a duplicate? I wasn't going to say it. No, I was going to say it because he says it. When he does happens. say it. My it's bad. Like okay. Some. It happens. Duplicates. You can't remember all of them. One oh. Forget. Game number two. Hopefully we didn't do this one too. A game that you can play solo or with friends. I mean the the choices are just <laughs> not uh, not Borderlands yeah. VR. Uh, Guaca Melee. No. Great game. Mario Party. No. I ain't afraid of no ghost. The Ghostbusters movie. No. No. It's, uh, <laughs> no, I want movie. <laughs> well, it can't be that. It's a single player game. Name the game. Is it a movie? <laughs> <laughs> you did ask that one time. Um. Um. Bomberman. No. And I did a name the cartoon once. That was fun. Uh, choose your class. Yeah, pretty generic. It gets better, though. Call of Duty Ghost? Nope. I mean, it can't be Ghostbusters. I mean, I know he gave us that, but I, it's got to be a reason for it. Uh, pass. I got nothing. Here's a gem for all you fans out there. Our podcast was almost called three-player co-op. I, I feel like we're just missing it. This, this is another Boogerman incident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Golden Axe? No. That was a great guess. Um, that game's only two player co op. Uh, <laughs> hmm, it's got three player co op, something to do with ghosts, and, and not to, being afraid of them. You get to choose your class. <laughs> Those are the clues. Three player co op. <laughs> choose your I need. I need an answer, sir. Feel uh, free to pass. Altered this. Beast. No. Get your fire team ready. Destiny? Destiny. We've done Destiny before, too. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> create, a, <laughs> create an Excel sheet, and we'll have to do it. We need to make an Excel sheet. All right. 1-1. Right. One, one. One, one. It's only fair, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. All right. I don't think we did this one. Uh, space, the final frontier. I swear, if it, I'm not going to say it, but if it's ME, like if it's that series, you we've done this. But I'm not going to say that There's one. only four different games, but it's okay. Um, Star Trek Bridge... <laughs> Bitch crew is not even. Is that even out yet? No, that's not it. Uh, crap. What's the heck? What the heck is that game? Um, yeah, that one. <laughs> me. Um, no, not that. I didn't know what it was at first, but then I thought about it. And I was like, okay. I I know the game. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. Pass, and I'll help you out some more. Pass. Very mixed reviews at the game's launch. I know. <laughs> Mass Effect Andromeda. No. <laughs> no, he knows oh, what it is. No, oh, no. Hey, hey, this happened to us last week, right? Hey, go ahead, Johnny. <laughs> go just, ahead. just let me think. Let me think for a second. Can I get like 20 seconds to think? Just shh, shh. 
As long as we're not eating into our new runtime. We're, we're actually what, way on time. We're you're, good. You're using your 20 seconds. Come on. Wait, you're talking to me. 20 seconds now. Well, I can talk to you. I'm the host. I can do what I want. Okay, yeah. John, yeah, Garrett. Yeah, I know Garrett knows it now. Johnny needs some time to think. Okay. It's got like 10 more seconds. Because I couldn't do... You guys are talking. I, I need you to... That's, that's fine. That's fine. It's a talking. game. I'm the host. Uh, I couldn't think of Black Eyed Peas experience. I couldn't think of Marvel Rise of the Imperfects. Like, Garrett's got both of those. Garrett's about to get a third one now where he's like, oh, yeah. I got it now. This is really stressing. You have to pass, bro. Or we can get a game. I know the game. It's though. been fifty seconds, bro. Yeah, you like it's, it's not fair. It's, it's totally fair. You didn't. Get, you, well, we don't know if Garrett he gonna get it right. I'm, I'm, I'll not. probably get it wrong. But no, you won't. We'll I know you know. The I'll game. be shocked if he gets it wrong. I, I lost because I, I know the game. And I can't think of it. Okay, that's part of name. Uh, the game's called Name the Game. You can't name it. Oh, that's, that's not the, the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let's try a uh, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. <laughs> That's the name of the like, game. I was like, Skybound? Skyfall? Earth Sky? I knew. <laughs> You're naming like five different combinations of games. <laughs> that is a 2 1 on Garrett. <laughs> and I don't think we did that one before. We had it. I was trying, Garrett. I, had I know, it. I know. God. I truly believe in my heart of hearts that had you had another five minutes, you would have got it. <laughs> <laughs> had you had you had you not gotten it after six questions, my last maybe clue was going to be have, like talked. If I wouldn't have been like, oh, I know it. Like maybe I wouldn't. My last clue is going to be the galaxy belongs to no man. I, I if you didn't guess it after six tries, I had it, man. Like I that was my W. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get it. I was like Skybound, Skycraft, Earth Sky. Isn't that the name Sky, of the, Sky the, the new, the new uh, Bethesda game? Oh, it's it called Star Starfield Star, Starbound Starfall. Is it Starfield? No. Maybe. Yeah, Starfield. Okay. Yeah. Because Starlink is the Star Fox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, buddy. I'm I sorry. Oh, Johnny's got NTG duty next week. That sucks. I got trivia. But I, didn't, I wouldn't have had to have either. Yeah. Now, next week, I don't have either. <sighs> you get a week break. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> it's fun. Let's, uh, let's, go to, let's go to the end here. Oh, thanks for catching that. Yeah. So, at the end of every week, in every show, we talk about... What's going on with us outside of the podcast? What games we're playing? What we're doing that's fun or interesting? We don't talk about work. We don't. We don't do it. We don't. <laughs> Except no. this work. This work. That this we're ain't doing. work. It ain't work. This, this, this is fun this is hobby. Play. That's not what Johnny texted me today. Oh. I don't remember that. And, of course, we give each other superpowers. <laughs> Stupid superpowers for, for good or for bad, for better or for worse, richer or poorer, selfishly or selflessly. Uh... Uh, I normally start, but I guess maybe when do you guys want to start? You want to start? Okay, let's let's. I let, guess I guess the host, I've, like who, uh, who did the intro. That's fine. So, cool. I have a very short week because not much happened. Are you uh, still a baby daddy? According to last episode, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're no. gonna get him caught up. Angelica's gonna listen. to I this? have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> he made a comment because you were playing Mario Party with the kids. Oh. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Uh, no, no, the new uh, Overwatch Halloween event started. <clears throat> oh, it's that time of year again. Huh? It is that time of year again. There's some sweet skins. Um, none too crazy, but uh, it, it's just nice to be able to, w- when these events come around, to do something different uh, every now and then. Uh, there's a really cool soldier skin that's kind of like a, a slasher, kind of like um, Jason Voorhees kind of thing. He's got the hockey mask on with like a slash on it. It looks really cool. Nice. Might be one of my favorites. But other than that, it's just been Overwatch and that thing we're not supposed to talk about because the uh, work. Yeah, don't talk about it. I don't won't talk about the it. Word. Cool. Uh, so have, that, have that you, lets me. Have you, have you seen maybe a, a, a small dip in Overwatch numbers or like the, just, just because Battle Royale has taken such a huge portion of the hype and kind of mind share of the gaming community has overwatch suffered at all it doesn't seem like it i haven't heard anything i haven't looked at numbers people are still playing it they're still supporting it the the league is currently off season but it's about to start up again in i think a couple weeks nice. uh so it's it's still doing its thing um i don't know if it's still like 13 million players or not but uh yeah. you know it, it, it's still up there it's still a thing cool nice all right joshua okay. i have your power so you know how in X-Men Rogue, she kind of just touches other mutants and absorbs their powers and mm-hmm. so much. Skin on skin contact, yeah. Yep, yep. So you can do the same thing. Uh, Except you don't you don't touch mutants. You if you want their powers, you gotta eat their fingernails. 
Just one. Again? You just got to eat one thing now. Haven't you done this to him before? I don't think so. Name? You did it to me. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't recall that, but. Yeah, he was like, it was the power that he's like, yeah, and if you want to do it, you got to, you got to bite their fingernail to. Oh, or, like, no, or that was to you to, to regenerate the, like no, your. They have to eat your fingernails to heal or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Some nonsense. Yeah, no, this is different. If you want their powers. I regenerate games, <laughs> you regenerate powers, whatever. You got, you got to eat their fingernails. Just one. You know, but but you might want to have to ask them, like get a jar and like, all right, beast, you know, I, I need some of your fingernails. Uh, don't ask why. And just put them in a the jar and then label ex- it. And label Hanks. it beast. Science experiment. <laughs> Hank, you Hanks understand. You understand. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. You get powers, man. <laughs> you, get, you get all the powers. I don't know. Do they stack? They stack, but they're temporary. Okay. I guess I can make do. Okay. Yeah. So my week, it's been a busy. Busy week with, you know, stuff that cannot be said. I. <laughs> That's mentioning it. Don't mention it. I, Move on. I, I didn't mention it. I didn't say it. Uh, I finished Rise of the Tomb Raider. I like the first one better. This one, it's still a good game. It's still fun. It adds a few new elements. Uh, I didn't really use the card system. It's kind of weird how they use the card system in that game to manufacture expeditions which is extra content you do after the game and is that multiplayer stuff i don't it's, remember that at all it's it's like that the score be... attack and time trial and replaying okay i think that was added in like that kind of later edition i don't know if it was at launch i don't, I don't think it was I'm at launch i like... play i played at launch and i do not recall that yeah so uh it was fun the story was interesting <clears throat> excuse me but um it didn't have as much as the supernatural stuff as the first one in my opinion still do, had do, some... you, do you want more supernatural I think this one could have done a little bit more as far as the storytelling. Um, that's just how I feel. Has about it, it enticed you to play the third one? I wanted to. Well, the only reason why I played this one is to play the third one because that one looks more, more exciting for me as far as the trajectory that, uh, Lara's going down. So we'll see. I haven't mm-hmm. played that game yet. Uh, it'll probably be on a Black Friday sale. Uh, I it's also on sale right now, actually. Uh, I think it's $44 really? on Xbox uh, for like a little bit more. Drop it down to like 20. Then I'll <laughs> drop it down to 20, this new game. Yep. Then, right. I'll, then I'll pick it up. So I just pretty much finished playing that, and I went through the Game Pass library, and I was like, let me play Darksiders. So I'm like 10 minutes in, and the game doesn't look like I thought it was going to look. It, it definitely looks dated, but I hope it's fun. I mean, it came out quite some time ago. Yep. You, you will for sure be able to get... Shadow of the True Mater, I almost can guarantee it for like thirty bucks on Black Friday. Oh yeah, like it will drop. In It'll price. probably be okay. half. Yeah, okay. for sure. I can I can down. wait for that. That's yeah. coming up. Yep. So uh, I hung out with a couple of close friends of mine today. I haven't seen in a while. Garrett was kind enough to let me borrow Mario Party. So we played it for about I don't know, close to two hours. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. I haven't played Mario Party in years. I've. Go oh, ahead. Go ahead. Okay, just a quick question because we we had discussed if the save uh, carries over. Mm-hmm. Do you remember if Dry Bones was a selectable character? No. Okay. So uh, yeah. it looks like the save data saves on the system. Yeah. So there's only three stages. You have to play, I guess, all three stages to unlock the fourth stage, it looks like. We played two boards. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it doesn't, it's not by time, it's by turns still. And it's, it was like 10 turns, 15 or 20. And 10 turns was roughly about an hour. I'm confused. Hmm. You said. You said dry bones. Do you mean bone Yoshi? No, no. Dry bones. No, dry is bones. The Koopa. No, 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 no. No, Johnny. His name is Dry Bones. Dry, dry bones is a bone Yoshi. He's it, bone a- Yoshi. Absolutely not. He is clearly a dead Koopa. The hell are you talking about? This is what he calls dry bones. This is you. You know the whole Oblivion, Elder Scrolls, IV, whatever. This. This is Johnny again with dry bones. He's bone Yoshi. Being bone Yoshi. How does that even correlate? I, it doesn't. It doesn't correlate, Joshua. That's how. I can, I can, I can understand your stupid Roman numeral stuff, but how do you call a different character like Birdo is female Yoshi? Like, well, that's well, not, no, I mean, that's, that's just, not, that's just yeah. weird, dude. Yeah, no, no. As you saying dry bones is a, what'd you say? A dead Yoshi? No. <laughs> Bone Yoshi. <laughs> it's not a Yoshi. It's a Koopa. I mean, he looks like a bone Yoshi to me. That, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, okay, you can need All to stop right. talking right now because you're making no sense. Uh, no, Dry Bones was not a playable character. Okay. Bone Yoshi. Shut up. <laughs> stop doing that. Smack you over the head with a Bone Yoshi. But uh, you were saying about the time. It's not by time. It's by turn. Yeah, I remember it being a little bit more uh, more options to pick versus just 10 turns 15. 
I could be wrong. It's been a long time, but it was still fun. The mini games that we played were cool. We actually never had a repeated mini game yeah. in the two plays, and it's just fun. Mario Party is just fun. It's fun with four players, and I I got robbed in the first game. And welcome to Mario Party. So I so I'm like I'm like like two more turns left, real quick. And I go and I go to purchase a star. I'm like, cool. I'm now in second place. First place has two. I have one. My next turn, I land on the the super unlucky space, mm-hmm. and then I get my star robbed. It goes to the fourth place person. Yep. And then after that, I get like half my coins taken away, and then like. I don't get a chance to come back. No, you got Mario Party. Yeah. Yeah. So. You got nintendo any multiplayer game besides – even Smash Brothers, right? Like if you play on certain modes like the Smash oh, you're Ball. You're doing real come. bad? Here, just spawn with the Smash Ball. Yeah. Like they like doing that. They like that yeah. rubber band. Rubber so, band, man. Why this tag band? Oh, jeez. So, that's the a long fun. time. The game's fun. I'm glad I borrowed it because I don't know when I'm going to have four people together in the right. same place. Yeah. Cool. Johnny, you're a stupid power. So Garrett made a – or we were talking – before the podcast about our old end game segments. So your superpower is anytime you run into someone you don't like, it turns into an end game boss fight and you have to defeat the person that you don't like uh, or can't on, stand. Hold on. And this just happens. Yeah. If you're like mad at someone like, man, I hate you. Like, I wish you weren't even around. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. End game boss fight. So I got a lot of questions on this power. <laughs> No questions. Does that mean I have to kill them? I have to murder them? Make, you can make them faint. Do it like Pokemon style. Okay, got it. Um, do it, they do they know this is happening? Like after the battle, do they remember? I don't know, man. I don't think that far deep. Is it well, turn based? Answer the question now. That, <laughs> now that I'm asking, does he have to wait for his bar to fill up is before there, he can act? Is there an active it's it's an ag- active ATV system. <laughs> like so, it's turn based, but you still have to wait for your bar to fill up. So if you happen to have more speed, you might get a little smidgen I, on him. I know that you didn't think of these now, but I need you when, <laughs> during these superpowers when someone's asking you clarifying questions to then at that point make a snap. Why do I just have to carry it cater because, to you? Because it's not about catering to me. It's because I need to understand my power. And you're the creator of my power. Otherwise, I get to make my own choices, which you don't like me doing. If I just decide how it works. Then well, you argue with me as trying to manipulate you being able to have the no, creative choice. Usually, I ask you, and then you say something. Then I then once you say it, I say, okay, great. I can do this. And you go, no. So that's that's <laughs> different. I'm not making it up. I'm asking you. And based on your god of the superpowers, superpowers, not giving clear answers. Okay. So, again, do they remember? Yes, the they fight? remember. Okay, so after I, what if it's someone at work and I I see them every morning, every morning. Better to, lear, you learn to control your temper. <laughs> well, it's not temper, right? It's like I can't help my emotions if I don't you like you. Control your emotions. But if I don't like someone, if they get you upset, it turns into a boss fight. If if I if I think someone's cute, is that a sex scene? Like I can't I can't help if someone's uh, cute. No, sex okay, I said if someone boss made, fight. Okay, right. but hold on, you get my point, right? Like if I think someone's cute, I can't turn that off. If I don't like someone. I gener I generally can't just turn it off. I don't like you. It wasn't about like or not. Like. Said, I, said, I said if someone makes you upset or mad, it's a boss fight. If you don't like someone, it doesn't mean you're going to get upset about your it. Your original statement was if you come across someone you hate. Yes, that is someone I. That's I, your original statement. Yeah, I could hate. You did someone. later on say someone you don't like. So which one is it? Is it if it, I hate them, don't like them, or if I'm angry at them? Because they're two different things. I can't turn off hate. Or I use dislike. that as example. Like there's someone you hate or someone you don't like, and they make you upset or they just, make you angry. Just retcon it. Upset right? or angry? Okay. Thank upset you. or angry? Because that's fair. Because all right. Because that makes sense, right? But just look, just open your mind for a minute. Just open it for. We don't a got minute. time for this. We do. We have ten minutes left. You always want to argue the stupid power, but want to cut the episode down. Just listen. <laughs> you're you're just trying to. You're now you're just like segueing off of the, the topic. You understand the difference, right, between someone being angry in the moment or hating or disliking someone because of who they are. Like how those things, one of them is finite. It, it can change. One of them doesn't change. If I don't like someone, that's not going to change very much. If I walk outside and see my neighbor and I hate him, I'm going to have a boss fight every day. Then you need to learn to like somebody. <laughs> or grind. You need a little love in your heart, Johnny. Grind and level up. So I can one hit him? Yeah, just nine, 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 okay. nine, nine. Other questions I have. Other questions. Do I get any money or like gear from <laughs> Gil? No. You don't get anything. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> What's the point of this? You learning not to be a hateful, spiteful person. Every time you get mad at someone, stop you have saying, to. Stop saying hate because you said it's about when I'm angry, not hate. So I can hate them, but I don't have to be angry. I can hate someone, not be angry. That. Was my earlier point I was trying to get to. Well, but. don't don't say hey, just say angry or upset. 
So yes, I have to learn how to not be angry. I can still hate someone or dislike sure. someone. I don't get any money out of it. Do no. I get experience? Do no. I get new powers? Yeah, your experience is not to be upset at someone Come on. because it turns into a fight and then they remember it's it. It's like experience power, of the heart. This power literally does nothing for me in fun because what if – It's not always I, meant to be fun. What if, what if I get – okay, what if I'm at the store and like there's a big buff guy and he like I'm getting in I'm getting into line in my shopping cart and in line he just like bangs my car out of the way. Move it, dick. And then now I'm angry at him. Now I have to fight this big ass strong mofo. Do you think you can beat most of the people that cup out and approach you? Yeah. Not if fun. he's a big strong like karate. What if what if Conor McGregor is in line to talk about my faith and my and my family and my religion? Now I gotta fight Conor McGregor because he made me angry. Yeah, just Khabib it, man. You got it. Make sure choke that, him out. Make sure Vivi has a couple of Phoenix downs. Yeah, I'm go. I'm mm. gonna lose. Yeah, you can. You, you fainted. Can I die? No, you're can not they kill die. me? No. Like if I lose, do I die? No, you don't die. I wouldn't Does he restart back I wouldn't, at home. I <laughs> wakes up in a hospital bed. There's a lot of questions with this power, Joshua, that you didn't think through. You can't play God. Does he then... lose his money? <laughs> Only if he, the other person takes it from Does him. Does any of my equipment or materia break? It doesn't break, but if someone takes your equipment, uh, that, that's that's uh, on them. Uh, now you're playing a, a battle royale. Yeah, this getting this getting <laughs> got looted, looting loot your pockets. <laughs> what what if, what if a group of people make me angry? Is it all of them versus me? Like, is it a group yeah. boss fight? Yeah. How do they do it in the new Pokemon games? Team like oh, a team dude, battle it sucks. Oh, can I bring people into the fight? No, with them to help me. Just... No. Oh, but they can. I'm fight not angry at them. Yes. <laughs> okay, can he run from battle? <laughs> yeah, can I run? No. What the heck is going on? Arena, you're locked in. All right. You, you, can't, mean, you, you can never this, escape. It's a is, boss battle. You can't escape boss battles. This is literally the worst power I've ever had. There's no benefit <laughs> at all. There's only downside here. And it's downside even, for you, upside for us. Even if I win the fight. Okay. Will other people be aware the fight's happening? Like everyone around us. The store. Will cameras work? Because I will go to jail, Joshua. Why are they fighting? He just came across them and he, no. just, he just started wailing well, on Other them. people don't see it, Johnny. Okay, they're not aware. So only me and the combatants, like, we're, we get teleported yeah. to, like, a little... Everybody else is an NPC when you're in battle. Okay, but, like, what I mean is, like, the battle will end and they won't go, like, you're under arrest. Like, I'm calling the police. Like, no, no one... Okay. You're fine. Okay, good. Okay. It's not like GTA where all of a sudden you got three stars because you beat up a human civilian. You've got to think of these powers. No, I don't, man. That went more in depth than it probably should. (laughs) That's what I was. Johnny's over here complaining that he can't benefit from this power, and I have to sit here and be like, "Well, I got to eat fingernails, and at least the only food I get is poop. I got to eat my own poop because it's chocolate, and that's my lone survival." Let's talk about powers today. The power you got. Why are you bringing up old shit? (laughs) (laughs) Because it still hurts. The power you got today, as gross as it is, is a useful power. Mine is not. Okay, my week. Uh, I am playing Amazing. I'm sorry, Spider Man on PS4. I'm enjoying it. Uh, you know, there's still the good and the bad. The more I play it, there the more I like certain things and dislike others to the point that I realize that there's no way it's going to be a game of the year win for me, and I don't think it can be several games that have come out this year. Um. So there's that. I'll be uh, reviewing uh, the Marching Fire uh, DLC for uh, For Honor coming out 8, October 16th. I'll be checking that out, getting a, a code, uh, a review code. Thank you to uh, the Game Fanatics. So partnering with them, a lot of liking a lot. I'm also playing another little shmup on PS4 called uh, Fast Strikers. I'll be reviewing that. Uh, thank you again, the Game Fanatics. Appreciate the 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 love, you know, the partnership. Um. Did you just almost do an LL Cool J? Pretty much. So, yeah, that's that's what I've been playing. Uh, other than that, I'm watching a lot of Netflix. I really like the show Hilda. It's a really, really good show. It, you know, I've seen the trailer and everything, and it just doesn't quite capture so me. So that's how I felt, too. But it's very much like Steven Universe okay. with the art. It was, that's all you got to say. It was created by, I can't think of his name at the moment, but a guy that worked with Rebecca Sugar uh, on Steven Universe. And then, of course, she worked on uh adventure time yeah so that that whole group is it, it just it's got a very similar flow and feel um i think you will absolutely love this show okay you i think garrett this is your show okay like, All right. more so than even mine like this is a garrett show i, I because, will check it out now uh because you also like little uh my little uh, no little witch academia yes little witch, you like that show a lot yeah. and i think you enjoy it because of the exploration there's not like combat it's just like yeah it's stuff. Just fun times that's how this show is okay it's, it's so heartening and as much as I like Steven Universe, Hilda is a much more enjoyable 
nice. Like, Choose your next words carefully. I love Steven Universe. I turn you on to Steven <laughs> Universe. But Hilda is a nicer, better, more genuine, and more likable character. Like okay. you immediately like her more. Okay. Um. I'll, so I'll, I'll pop it on. Yeah. Please just watch like the first episode, maybe uh, the second one too. Okay. You'll you'll like it a lot. Like right. I am. I love this show. So thank you, Netflix. You're doing a damn <laughs> fine job lately, Netflix, putting out good content. Uh, side note, they put out 625 hours of content in quarter three alone. I, I read that. That's crazy. Mind blowing. Cool. So that's, that's all I've done really. Oh, just family time. Yeah, yeah. Spending a lot of time with family. The weekend goes too darn fast now. Like I did not have time to do anything like yesterday, which was Saturday. Well, when we're recording this, yesterday was Saturday. Um, you know, woke up super early, like at six or seven in the morning, I think. We went to like, we went to breakfast at 8 a.m. somewhere. We met up with some, some of her friends and their kids at like this cool museum type place for children oh, to go see. But it wasn't a museum. museum it was like, it was like a play area, but it had oh, like okay. stuff about the city, about the culture of, of La Habra. Like there's a bunch of stuff you could play with in there. Super cool place for kids. Nice. Um, did that. Then from there, went to lunch with them. Then from that, went to Corona to visit my family. We were there hanging out with them. Went to the mall to buy Grayson shoes. Came back, had dinner with them, stayed till like nine. Got home, drove, cleaned up, put the kids to bed. Here I am this morning doing yeah. the podcast. Yeah. After the podcast, I have church after church. I'm going to Corona to watch football with my cousins. After that, I am driving back for a church event at 530. And then from there, usually I would have had the podcast. So when I get home, I have to clean up and do laundry and stuff. Like that's my weekend. I did not have a free moment mm. to do anything besides I mean, not that I didn't have a good time, yeah, I had yeah. a good time. Yeah. I didn't have downtime. Yeah. It's just getting ridiculous. Like, like football's it's, it's, your downtime. It's really not though. Like but I see your like, point. No, no, I, I get it. Because, like, there's, like, uh, when holidays show up, like, Thanksgiving, it's like, okay, yeah, cool. I get a day off from that thing that I'm sure we'll not talk about. But it's not like a day I get to do anything. Yes. I'm doing family stuff. I got like eating. I'm yes. going out kind of thing. Cooking, cleaning, yeah. entertaining guests. Yeah. yeah, it's a day off, but it's not my day yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, I'm like, wow. This it's not weekend, me time. As I'm driving home from, as I was driving home last night, I'm like, wow, like, the weekend's over. Like, I know it's only Saturday, Saturday night, but the weekend's over. Like Sunday, I have a bunch of stuff to do. I go back to work. Yeah. Why yeah. is the system made to be this rat race? I can't say that word. I know. I'm sorry. You go back to your other duties. Yeah. Um, but that was, that <laughs> was my duty. week. Yeah, I did. Fun week, full week, playing games. Uh, definitely looking forward to Red Dead 2 coming out in about a week. Oh, so soon. <sighs> yep. So there we go. Garrett, your stupor power. Uh huh. So I thought of this because I was thinking about your mom the other day. Okay. Uh, and your mom is really good at getting what she wants. When yeah. The, when the woman wants something, she going to get it. Uh-huh. She going to find a way. That's Whether my that mama. means working for it or if she's at her store and someone ain't, ain't act right, then they're getting it. They they they, they going to act your right. Your mom feisty like that? He's an act right. Yeah. She, she's They going to act right. So <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, you have the ability that whenever a circumstance pops up, and it has to be something where there's an actual problem. You can't yeah. just use it. Okay. There's any problem. You got to say, let me talk to your manager and you will be able to get that situation immediately alleviated. They will go get the manager or they're, if you're on the tech support line and it will, whatever you needed to get done, will get done. So as long as there was a problem, you could instrument it. You can make the problem happen, but you can't just like pretend there's a problem. There has to be something yeah. that happened. Service went out. The price is wrong. They're out of your size. The color doesn't look right. Uh, the food was too cold, whatever. Whatever you wanted. You want another meal? You want it pro bono? Let me talk to your manager. <laughs> it, it was the last copy of the new game. So I, so I get that, that display box? You, and, and you're not going to get me uh, 10% off? Let me, Let me talk to your manager. <laughs> you're going to put that sticker on it? Mm. Ruin my box? Like mm. we were talking about earlier, you're out of those Marvel jackets. <laughs> can I can I get an apple pie? Oh, right, apple pie. Every damn time. <laughs> we got strawberry and cream cheese. I don't want strawberry and cream cheese. Let me talk. Get that damn cook in the kitchen now. Um, no, you can't do that. You got to be... Let me talk to your manager. How you never have apple pies? You know damn well people want apple pies. See, I'm actually the opposite. I love the strawberry and cream pies. It's fine. Cause, cause when I, or, last time I ordered apple pies, they're like, oh, we only have strawberry and cream cheese. Yeah, fine, whatever. Go I'll to take McDonald's. It. it was okay. Go to McDonald's, get their apple pies. That's what you're That's talking about. That's exactly what we're talking <laughs> oh, about. Joshua. I, I didn't exactly know. I didn't place. know they had cream cheese, strawberry, whatever. That's all they got. I don't go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat at McDonald's. Like, I didn't. I thought you were talking about Marie Calendars or something. Who the like, hell some goes grandma to Marie Calendars? Not, not for apple pie. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I love their strawberry cream pie. So for me, that happens a lot. But can I get strawberry cream pie? All we have is apple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your apple pie. I'm out of here. I did not um, know. That stra- okay. Is it the same thing? Just like just, same little like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just really? no no apple. And strawberry, replace it with cream? strawberry and cream cheese. Uh, it's fine. But it doesn't I sound good at all. Pie. Yeah. I love I love it. Can I use this power for other people? Uh, if you're there. If you're if there. I'm there like, I have to witness what the wrongdoing, I guess. I would say you have to be part of their party. Like you couldn't be like, let's say at the store and then someone else walks in. Like, I don't understand. Like I ordered it. It should be here. You couldn't be like, hold on, miss. Let me talk to your manager. You couldn't do that. Oh. But like, if you're like going with your buddies, to go get like the game okay. or the statue. Right. And he's right. like, bro, we're going to go play. And then you get there and it's not there. Like, come on, man. Like we're here. And you're like, hold on, hold on, Joshua. Let me talk to your manager. <laughs> like you'll just, it'll just, you right. don't know why it, it could be just coincidence luck but it always seems to just work out where you get a resolution that you wanted not some kind of crappy compromise not not here's 10 percent off next time but like mm. hey this is what i want mr manager and i'm gonna get it here's okay. this movie voucher you can go to next time not today that's what happened yeah. uh it's funny because like i want to see if i can use it for other people and you know how johnny gets a power how can i use this to benefit me the super villain. You go <laughs> and I'm the like, how can I use man. this to to help other people and be the good guy? <laughs> you know, so that's nope. the polar opposites. Nope. Yeah, we we definitely are. Can't use it. Yep. All right. Cool. That's your power. All right, guys. Well, that is the show. Uh, we're running right on time. We made some tweaks, some changes. Um, so for those of you who have been longtime listeners or watchers now, I suppose, uh, viewers, viewers is the correct. Can word there be there. longtime viewers? Well. Yeah, kind of. They can view our audio version on yeah. YouTube. There Fair could enough. be a few people. <laughs> uh, but th- those numbers are slowly building up uh, for those of you who are viewing on YouTube. So thank you for your support there. Um, but yeah, we appreciate you guys listening and having a good time with us. Um, but for those changes that we have made, if you were aware of them, uh, we kind of moved some things around, pulled some things out. Let us know what you thought. If you think those things should make a comeback, if you think, you know what, this is the way we wanted it, this is what we appreciate it, hey, we'll listen to you. But right now, we made some changes to kind of fit better the flow of what we what we have been doing. But of course, what our audience wants is what we're going to try to give you, right? Like, we want you to stay with us. Uh, so let us know. Um, and for anything else, guys, you know, if you want to chat with us, talk to us, rate us, give us stars. Um, communicate with us in any way we'd appreciate all those things letting your friends and family know about us is a great way to help the show um do all that do any of that but of course first and foremost thank you for just joining us and watching viewing listening streaming streaming's here uh, <laughs> whatever whatever you're doing you can do those things by hitting us up on uh email contact at scspodcast.net finding us on twi- uh, twitter 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 Finding us on Twitter, at Super Co-op Squad, on YouTube, you're already watching if you're here, on Facebook, on Facebook.com, of course, or the app. Mixer? Yeah. No, no we're Spotify, not. Spotify? We're not on Mixer. We're not. We're not on Mixer. Mixer's not. terrible. No one's on Mixer. Yeah, Mixer's very <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. Microsoft employees. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> they have to be. Or you can go ahead and, and, and heart us or subscribe, whatever you're doing, on iHeartRadio, <laughs> wherever you listen to your podcast. Uh spotify we're on spotify now so good stuff coming for the squad um and if you want to chat with us individually you can find me at johnny mac 24 you can find me at gjl3275 and i am at eternal red gamer yep until next week uh we will see you guys keep gaming have fun stay safe i'm johnny mac i'm garrett i'm joshua 